In this video, you're going to learn how to create your account in Google Ads. We're going to walk through this step by step and at the end, you're going to have a Google Ads account ready to start running ads on the Google Ads network. First, we'll go to ads.google.com. You can also find this page by just searching for Google Ads in Google. You'll see this page, just click get started. If you're not already logged in, it's going to ask you to sign in with your Gmail or G Suite account. Ideally, we want to use the same email for all the accounts we're going to use. This means Google Ads, Google Analytics, Google Search Console, Google Merchant Center, and Google Tag Manager. Don't worry about setting up the other ones now. We'll do that in another video. Let's just focus on Google Ads. Once you are logged in, you will see a screen like this that has the goals. Google is trying to take us through a recommended setup. We don't recommend doing this at all. Scroll down and find a link on the page that says switch to expert mode. Click this link. We want to click this link to skip the basic setup because we know exactly what we're gonna do here. The reason we do this is because Google will try and put us through a basic setup, which might give you a basic Google Ads account on easy mode. This doesn't have access to all the features we need for our Google Ads account, so it's better to make the switch now so we don't have to do it later. It's then going to show a page like this that has all the goals. Click create an account without a campaign. We can create an account later. For now, we just want to get our account created. Now we enter in our business information. The billing country is where our bank or credit card is located. The time zone will be for our own time zone. This is for reporting. The currency, make sure this is the same currency as the main currency of your store. All your reporting should be in the same currency, whether that's your own currency, or if you have a store that's selling to another country, you should use the currency of that store. Analytics and Google Ads will be. Try to keep the currencies of all the accounts the same because if you're trying to register conversions in Shopify in USD, but you've got your Google Ads account in British pounds, it's not going to work really well. Once you've added these in, click submit. Sometimes it's going to ask you if you have a promo code. I recommend Googling Google Ads promo code because you'll often find a code that'll give you $100 in credits for your first ad spend. Once that's created, sometimes it asks for your billing information, your credit card details, and sometimes not. If it does, you can also set up your billing later by clicking create an account without setting up billing. You'll then see this page and you can click explore your account to reach the Google Ads dashboard. There you go, you now have a set up Google Ads account. The next thing you need to do now is set up your conversion tracking. If you're running an e-commerce store, I have a full video showing you how to set up your conversion tracking for your store. It's actually part of our free Google Shopping course that's on our website. I'll leave a link to that lesson down below. If this video was helpful, please hit that like button and let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.